it is January 18th, 2017, was reading a report pertaining to the evacuation of British scientists from the Antarctic due to the increasing size of a very large crack in the Arctic ice shelf where their research center is located. Now, I'm going to bring up a, a little diagram of where the research centers are located and where the crack is located. Now, if you look over here to the left side of your screen, they've been watching this since about December 2012. And I'll just zoom in here a little bit for you. Gradually, you can see that this large fissure or crack in the ice has grown and it's getting much closer to the point where these research centers could actually be cut off if that crack proceeded all the way and then they would be stranded on a massive iceberg. That'd be kind of scary, right? So anyways, they have evacuated these scientists because of the increasing size of this crack in the ice. And I was able to catch a little video by ABC News that did a flyover. I guess uh, they either used one of these drones or a helicopter and they were actually able to do this video and flyover of this crack. Now, when you're looking at it from up above, it really doesn't look like it's that menacing, but remember, you're kind of high up during this and that crack is, it's, it's so deep and so menacing looking. And I could only imagine the sounds that this makes when this ice shelf is being torn apart. And for these scientists, I would want to be evacuated also. Now you say to yourself, okay, Scott, what does this have to do with Planet X? Well, as I've been going on and doing a little research on this, and I'm going to leave you an article. This was posted in the BBC over in the UK, and this talks about the evacuation and the unpredictable situation that these scientists would be faced with. But further investigating this information, I came across this website called The Watchers. And once again, why is this significant to Planet X? Well, in theory, as the research has gone on for more than 30 years, the approaching presence of this planetary body, or whatever it may be, folks, it's causing and creating all of this stress on our planet. And we see this now every minute of the day dealing with the earthquake situation around the globe. And I've been reporting on these earthquakes and I will continue because this is a main factor in my investigations into Planet X, the Nemesis Solar System, Nibiru, whatever name you want to label it. The bottom line is the Earth is going through some very, very serious changes. And I've started to notice a pattern. Now, this website, The Watchers, is detailing stories and articles of these large Earth fissures or cracks. Just this week in Northern Cape, South Africa, January 16th, I did a story about this large fissure that opened up in the ground. You move down May 6, 2016, large and growing crack in mountain causes power shutdown in Logantown, Pennsylvania. We move further down April 21st, 2016, Drone footage shows very large earth crack in Britain's Jurassic Coast. January 26th, 2016. Large and growing earth crack causes severe damage to Aponte, Colombia. And then you move down. There was a, a large earth crack December 22nd, 2015 in Paraguay in South America. Then another large earth crack November 27th, 2015 in California. Then you move down and there's another one in Bighorn Mountain in Wyoming. And then one in Sonora, Mexico. But as you can see, it goes on and on from 2011 all the way up. And things start to increase throughout the year of 2016. Now here we are in 2017, the first month in the year 
and we have this large fissure opening up in South Africa. And now the crack that is opening up in the Antarctic is creating some very, very horrid worries with these scientists. What is happening? What is happening? Every single day, every single day now, we're having this increase in magnitude and frequency of these earthquakes. Something is disturbing the earth. And that is the point that I am trying to get across. Within the theory of Planet X, this is not something that would just occur literally just overnight. This is something that has been occurring over a period of years. And once again, you know, these are my thoughts and theories and the research and investigations that I have done now. This is going on 13 years for me, but now more and more of the evidence is coming clear around the world every day on a daily basis. More and more coronal holes are opening on the sun. And these coronal holes are large. They are affecting the earth. We have scientific data on this. Once again, uh, this is a 48 hour view of the sun. And once again, another very large coronal hole that is now connecting to a large coronal hole on the top of the sun. Now that would not affect us, but this large shape right here will definitely create more pressure on the earth. When the solar winds extrude from the sun, they are going to make it to our planet at some point in time. We've already seen increased levels of radiation for the past month or so. So once again, we have to start to think what is actually happening. Our earth is going through some changes question mark. Does this have anything to do with planet X question mark? But what is happening is happening globally around the world, just not in a section of our planet. And each and every day, these occurrences are happening. Mainstream media is not covering all of this. They are too busy on ridiculous elections here in the United States and just covering their mainstream news. But to me, what's happening to our planet should be mainstream news. This involves every single human being on the face of this earth. And without this planet, we cannot survive. We cannot survive without our earth. And it makes me wonder sometimes, what more could science do? Well, at this point in time, I don't think that there is much more that science can do, but getting out there and at least warning people that are in these earthquake zones. Now, I have noticed that there are a lot of warnings where people are living near volcanoes. These volcanoes are erupting. I was viewing some of the information today on a lot of these volcanoes that now the eruptions are very frequent. They are issuing ash warnings. But we don't hear very many of these warnings. We don't hear any of these scientists just coming out on mainstream media and saying, listen, everyone around the globe, something is occurring on our planet. They'll probably say we don't know what it is when in fact they do. And once again, I will repeat myself at this point in time, you don't have time to be scared. You must be prepared. You must be prepared for anything that happens. Where you live 
you know the geological area. If you live in an earthquake zone, be prepared. If you live near a volcano, be prepared. If you live near the oceans or water, you need to be prepared. Have a plan. If you have a family, get your family involved, create the plan, practice it. It may save your life. So once again, our planet is undergoing very severe changes. This has been occurring for quite some time. Does this have anything to do with global warming? I don't think that it has anything to do with global warming. I think this has everything to do with internal warming. The internal warming of our earth, which creates pressure and that pressure has to go somewhere. And where does it go? It goes straight up. What does it do? It creates large cracks and fissures in the earth, earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions. The bottom line is something's disturbing the earth. Pinpointing what it is, is the hard part. Keep your eyes open, everybody. Stay tuned. We'll be back with another report later on this afternoon. Thanks for watching the Nibiru channel. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is January 18th, 2017. Was reading a report pertaining to the evacuation of British scientists from the Antarctic due to the increasing size of a very large crack in the Arctic ice shelf where their research center is located. Now, I'm going to bring up a, a little diagram of where the research centers are located and where the crack is located. Now, if you look over here to the left side of your screen, they've been watching this since about December 2012. And I'll just zoom in here a little bit for you. Gradually, you can see that this large fissure or crack in the ice has grown and it's getting much closer to the point where these research centers could actually be cut off if that crack proceeded all the way and then they would be stranded on a massive iceberg. That'd be kind of scary, right? So anyways, they have evacuated these scientists because of the increasing size of this crack in the ice. And I was able to catch a little video by ABC News that did a flyover. I guess uh, they either used one of these drones or a helicopter and they were actually able to do this video and flyover of this crack. Now, when you're looking at it from up above, it really doesn't look like it's that menacing. But remember, you're kind of high up during this 